Hello, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again with another Legends of Rune Terror video and today we are going to play some more Twisted Fate Ezreal. Uh, the other day we made a video on Twisted Fate Ezreal, we also went into depth about the deck and the cards itself, so I do suggest you go and check out that, I'll leave it down in the, the video description. We go in depth about the cards as well in that video, so you might find some of that information useful. Today we're pretty much just going to jump straight into the games, we've got a few more matchups here, got a bit more uh, gameplay with Twisted Fate, which we didn't really get to show case in the last video so i do hope you enjoy uh, this one uh we're gonna play with some new decks tomorrow so i hope to get some footage for you guys very soon with some new decks thanks guys for the support as always uh we've been getting a few subscribers here and there welcome everyone thank you so much uh if you enjoy the video please leave a like it makes a huge difference to the performance of the video and as i've said before gives me ideas of what to do in the future thank you i'll see you soon Actually, I would have preferred not to play a mirror matchup anyway, so I'm fine with this. To pay, my puppy chewed up my shoes. So I'm currently dealing with that. Uh, hopefully they went too expensive, man. <laughs> Gonna be any worse than the time I pranked one of my mates by putting shampoo in his new shoes. Actually, it could be a bit worse. Your shoes are chewed up. He's just had a... He's just had um shampoo in them. Incredible. We're tanking three. I'll do better this time. Sure. I've whipped up something special. Sudi plays here. Most likely it's attacks. I can do this. This'll send them running. Just pay a band, isn't too crazy. Fair enough. Shampoo on the shoes, in the shoes. The prank was when he woke up, we were like, hey man, we're heading out, dude. We're heading out. And, uh, <laughs> he would put his feet into the shoes and notice that something happened. Okay, Mega Rain, Mystic Shot. This is going to clear up a lot of the bot. I don't really want to see Draven right now, but we're still going to make it rain. On his attack. Fuck, I need this to hit um Draven. I'll be able to clear his entire board if this hits all the minions. There's nothing to think about. Is he considering using the spinning axe prior to the attack? Actually it's Probably had to miss a grain before he attacked, because now I can't block the uh, boom crew. Slight over look. Okay, where are these landing? I can't see. That's really frustrating. <sighs> I gotta hope it's hitting Draven. This is the order. And just in case we're not hitting this guy. Landed pretty much okay. The face damage was irrelevant there though. Like I have a dog allergy, but I texted my friend to meet up and I asked her to let me walk her dog. She let me. Then when I came back home, I didn't have a rash. So am I allergic or no? Yes, the dog licked me. Um, you should probably get that looked at. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you, dude. Don't blink. We're going to play Ezreal here. And Ezreal is going to generate us free value. We can't play the Mystic Shot this turn, but I don't see anything else as no quite productive. Wants. I'll buy some time. I don't want to get that uh, value. Plus this uses up the mana we have now. I don't think I need the extra spell mana for next turn. I just want to clear this. Could have also leaded to him using a blood transfusion, which would have been quite weak because he's not using it on the attack. In the aggressive sense. 
We still just open attack because the Mystic Shot is hopefully going to do what it needs to do next turn. I don't see a problem with this. I'm allergic to cats and sometimes I can be around them and others I can't even be in the same room. Some cat breeds are different. Uh, we have two ragdoll cats which tend to be quite uh, generally fine around people that are allergic to cats because of their fur. It's all about the fur. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. Gotcha. Huh. Chooses to tank the damage. Yeah, I had a cat and a dog. Found my allergy when I was six. Well, there you go. I kind of needed a minion to play here. I don't want to rummage double mystic shots in the hand. This is a very awkward hand to deal with. I need that mystic shot. So we're passing for now. See if he plays something else here. No, he's just going to attack like this. So chances are that he would uh, have a Nox and Further in hand. Which would be always mana, which he could be floating at four. Which means my double bit. Oh, let's see what he does here. Okay. What does this mean for us? It means I pretty much double Mystic shot the Draven. How useful is parlay to us? In hindsight, I realized I could have uh, parlayed you know the Draven prior to the attack, setting up for a Mystic Shot. A and then I could have saved the other Mystic Shot. But here we are, in this situation. Not gonna lie, we're at pretty okay HP. 10? But without Ezreal, we haven't really got a win condition. What I needed on this turn was a unit to play. We're going to have to pass this one. There's a unit, but Parley is probably strictly better. Very weird. I somehow feel like we have to rummage this turn. And look for more appropriate answers. Hmm. A hey, faint. How you going, buddy? Welcome. Thanks for popping in. This is kind of risky playing the Ezreal because now I have no win condition. This means that he just pretty much blocks with the, this guy. I'm kind of taking a bit of a risk here playing this Ezreal to the field. Perhaps I was meant to not play it, but I'll take the risk. Okay, that's, my, that's always mana. I'm pretty safe to do this now. Target the boom crew. Blocks one damage from my faint. Faint. Blocks one damage to my face. We're in a range now since he played Decimate where if I run into any issues, I can level up Ezreal. However, if he's sitting on an extra Decimate, we just lose. So I've got to hope that he's not. And I've got to somehow figure out how to kill him next turn. There may be. Hmm, interesting. Raven. <sighs> it's a very awkward demo beam. Fuck, I have to thermo beam this soon. 
there's a weird play where I go for the level up on Ezreal. But then, um... No, it's gonna be Thermo Beam. Because he has double uh, spinning axe in hand, I cannot block the Boom Crew. I mean, sorry, the Draven safely. That's a Noxian Fervor. I lose. Wait, did he just send that to the face? My beautiful face. Don't mind me. Oh, damn, dude. Hey, I'm <laughs> I'm here too. Nice to meet you. Person, I don't be belong here. Obstacle, me gauntlet. It's pretty dark, fighters. You belong wherever you need to belong. Time to go. Okay, as soon as he top takes leaf. <laughs> okay, we have to like... Weird. That's pretty good. Don't exactly beat the decimate. So obviously we're playing Zap Spray Fin here. It does not really matter what we do. I just gotta hope he hasn't got direct damage and that's about it. And even at that point, make it rain kind of helps. There's a chance if he hasn't got lethal this turn, we can catch him next turn. Depends what the top deck looks like. I can do this. Okay, it's useful. Make it rain levels up Ezreal. Now pretty much gonna play the mystic shot that I draw into. Now I gotta pray. They don't know what they're up against. Watch and learn. So I have to attack and use the Mystic Shot that I get to send it to his face. It's the only logical play. And hope that he doesn't draw until we get excited because he'll win the stack then. If I had one more mana. <laughs> Pretty much if he draws into a mystic shot, it's okay, uh, sorry, a uh, fast spell, face damage spell, it's over. So I pretty much have to do this. Actually, no, the gotcha changes things. We're good. No matter what spell he drew, it should be over. Let's say he draws and get excited. We win the stack game. Wait, is that a draw? No, we should win, right? Incredibly close game, well piloted by the man himself, the one and only. Fake hero here. Incredibly tough matchup to pilot. GG. Thank you, Cheesy. I think we played that pretty well. I think we got some pretty nutty draws. Oh, what are we versing, by the way? Karma, Ezreal. I'm not even going to keep Ezreal. We'll just draw into it. These cards are going to be great. Probably even uh, Static Shock's good. But no. We can play heavily for the board. Allowing him to give answers. And buff his Ezreal. What's the ink on my arm? It's basically just a revolver. It's got like uh, flowers and roses around it. It has the Linkin Park symbol. The picture of the actual gun my friend drew a long, long time ago, and I thought it was really interesting. And I said to him, I'm gonna get that tattooed on me one day. One day, one day, seven years later, on my 26th birthday, my wife helped me get it and organize it and get it done. I decided to add the Linkin Park symbol to make it a bit more unique and then made it a bit more personal. I've always had plans to get more, but I'm one to be lazy and also one to be uh, unorganized. Am I supposed to just play Petty Officer? Now, do I want the Powder Keg? He's going to play a fast spell against it. And I think the random monocost ally is probably going to do more damage. This is not very useful. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty half stone moment. One, two, three. I can actually Thermo Beam this. I don't think it's a bad Thermo Beam. We're going to deal the excess damage. What happens is if he has a spell to interact with it, which it's likely he would. 
we Fifth place. Do I ever just demo be my <laughs> Reaver? I think I'm overthinking this too much. I think I just should just be attacking like this. Oh man. He's on sitting on three mana. Let's get excited, Mystic Shot. Thermo Beam. Ah, oh, man. I don't see why not. I'll just make him put a resource into it. Oh, shit. I doubt he wants to. Sorry. I doubt he wants to get excited at it, but I wouldn't have been surprised to see him use a Mystic Shot there. Strange play. Maybe it's more valuable just hitting these units. But I would have to disagree. Very weak Thermo Beam. I don't see the point in swinging with this. I can't think of a situation where it's relevant. Jump. We'll match that. That's pretty sick. Thanks, Cheesy, by the way. It was good. It was funny, funny story. Um, I was, the tattoo wasn't finished. Like I just needed to be a little bit touched up. But, uh, and I was supposed to go back. And I had it organized to go back there like a week later. And then I got a call from him saying that, uh, oh, sorry, we have to reschedule. I'm like, that's fine, man. And then I just never rescheduled. And then the Tattooist moved to a different state. And now he still pops into where, like this area where I live in here and there to do some jobs. But it's been like two years later. And I haven't got this finished. And it's all paid for and stuff. And I actually paid for him to touch up the tattoo on my neck, which is like something I got when I was really young. And uh, he was going to do that as well, but I haven't <laughs> gone back there to do that. Like I didn't, I didn't pay much for the uh, touch up, and it was he wasn't charging for the touch up on this tattoo, but the touch up on this. Uh, so make a rain wins the stack, but I wonder if Mystic Shot is better to use here. It's a weird. I don't think Mystic Shot finds, uh, sorry, uh, make a rain finds as much value in this matchup. So this is the most logical play. And we just get more resources. Resources pumped into Ezreal. Now he can't, he's gonna have to tank this damage. Again, uh, I can't think of a reason to actually swing with this. I can't see when it's relevant. I paid for a tattoo and just never made it back to the shop so I can relate. But like, did you get the tattoo and needed to go back for any reason? Or did you just pay for a tattoo and never went to the shop? That's different, if that's the case. I'm pretty sure we're just going to Mystic Shot that. Possibly Salvage is a little bit better to try and find better answers. Because I like to use the Parlay for some better value. So I can tank two damage here for the chance that I find a Keg. Double Parlay, that's not that bad. <laughs> Double parlay. Sure. Let's do it. Probably the least resourceful uh, card to use right now. And also, if he wants to develop another minion, then I get to clear the this, so that's fine. He probably just goes for the attack now. We're obviously just tanking it. I'll take two. Our resources are pretty good in terms of HP, Nexus health. Yeah, I never got the actual tattoo. We drew everything out, but I was like a five hour sit and I didn't have the time. What's going on, man? Cheesy. That That is uh, something else, man. Come on. You're better than that. The thermo beam. No counterplay here. And the place I love is about an hour away from all the cities and what not. So I just never made it live. Okay. It's further away. Fair enough. Still, what are you doing, man? So I've seen him drop one Thermo Beam. I think I may have actually seen him drop two Thermo Beams or maybe that was me. He one Thermo Beam, days two Thermo Beamed. So his answer to the Ezreal, if I decide to temper one out, is pretty minimum. Probably just the uh, chomp bombs slightly better, but this baits out resources. More rankery, platinum three, uh, zero LP. We dropped a couple of games uh, at the start of the day on uh, 
burn aggro. So I decided to try out the um, Twisted Fate Ezreal. Try and punish the Maokai decks we were finding. Plus, this tends to have a... I feel like it has a bit of an edge against typical Karma Ezreal because we have more tempo plays, more productive plays. So I don't find this deck to be a bad spot in the meta right now. At this point, do I actually play the Ezreal since I've seen him develop that? It's a little bit unlikely that it's a good play. I probably need to consider clearing this. I'll hold on to the Ezreal for now. I'm not buffing the Ezreal though, which is a problem, but even if I play it this turn, I don't exactly get to use the Mystic Shot. I'm just push pushing one damage. It's not irrelevant. It's okay, my only tattoo I have is a matching tattoo with an ex-girlfriend. That's pretty awkward, dude. <laughs> my uh, father... My father has a tattoo of my mum, and they're not even together anymore. Mystic Shot, get excited, comes down. So we play the Ezreal. Playing the Ezreal there means that... Uh, puts him in a spot where he has to uh, get excited, the Ezreal. Or he chooses between that or the Chump one. So I could have possibly pushed some damage there. But I guess at this point we just have to pass. I can drop one of these to be useful in mana. Plus finding chip damage. But I'm not going to use any more than that. Where's his Ezreal at? 3 out of 8. We're winning. That's tragic, cheesy sauce. <laughs> I guess you could say that. I'm getting diamond tonight. I'll rank you currently. I'll meet you there. Uh, weird place, by the way. I finally get to do something useful with this unscathed Reaver. At this point, we're just uh, chilling. He'll most likely make some sort of move here. Yeah, I didn't get names or anything, but it does say forever hers. Holy shit. Static shot comes down. Plat 1 0 LP. Fuck, you made a bit of a push, didn't you? I'll meet you in diamond. Do I ever just like mystic shot my own units to deny him value? It can never be correct. Okay. I need to level up Ezreal. I thought you'd never ask. I'm playing one of these Ezreals now. I feel a little bit threatened. <laughs> I literally have only lost one game since I switched to Corona Control. Can I level up Ezreal? Unfortunately not. Probably shouldn't have played it there. I took a bit of a chance. It is what it is. Corona carried me all day today. There you go. Actually, this should be trading into the minions so I can buff up Ezreal. The Vi helps me so much with the mid game. It's a productive play in Karina, that's for sure. It's not a bad fit at all. Tough's pretty relevant. Is it Ezreal time? Probably not. It's Themo, Themo, that beam time though. What do you have Karina in your deck? Fake hero. Wait, do I have Karina in my deck? No, I do not. I'm just referring to the deck that uh, Faint's talking about. You should. I should put a Karina in this list. Maybe. 
I think Ezreal just wins the game most of the time though. And Karina would be a 9 mana play, so we'd be able to play it like this turn. We could have played it. Don't blink or you miss me. Got a surprise for him. I don't see any reason not to swing. Like, what's he gonna do? He's gonna use spells to clear my minions, and then at that point, it's gonna be hard for him to level up Ezreal. It's a weird spot for him. So he wants to, uh, let's say, he wants to play Get Excited or something. We're just straight up having lethal damage right here. Obviously, <laughs> I'm not sure what he does here. Some sort of weird play, like that. Could do something. Helps him get a pretty mean open attack, that's for sure. But does he want to open attack here? He didn't even play enough spells to get the Eye of the Dragon to attune it. Uh, sorry, not attune it. Summon the Draggling. Karma comes down. Heart and mind as one. I think this game's over. Where there is life, there is hope. <laughs> Check me Could have health out. potion. Hey, good looking. Back at you. You won. Feels like we won. I'm thinking there's like some sort of health potion play but that causes him to want to probably go double health potion which is probably not even enough that would be six plus six twelve puts him up to 19 then he has three mana to spare to like get excited the Ezreal at that point he'd be sitting on 19 this is four eight twelve sixteen twenty it's 20 points of damage yep okay Very trolly. I really find that the uh, bilge water version of Ezreal tends to kind of beat up on the Karma Ezreal. I guess I'm just gonna keep slamming this down. What are you playing at the moment, Vitus? Oh, what are we versing? We're versing an aggressive deck. Cards like Twisted Fate, uh, not too bad. Petty Officer, probably needs to be replaced for the two mana card. Mystic Shot finds a bit more value. I can't do anything about his um, Rear Guard Sergeant if it comes down, so I gotta hope that he doesn't have it. League, brackets, not Law or Valorant, but I have two, have that too. Uh, fortunately enough, he doesn't have the Rear Guard Sergeant. That puts us in a crazy position. I'll just pretty much take over the game now. This Twist of Fate Ezreal deck tends to have a lot better options against aggro as well. Let me show you what I can do. Okay. So that forces me not to uh, swing. That's fine. So what he does here is he develops. Probably wants to underdevelop. Remember the objectives. That's actually insane. So this is a mystic shot if I've ever seen one. Is this actually going to stop the uh, black powder grenade from going off? Now play. We're insane. We'll keep mana floated. Not sure if Make It Rain is good here. Make It Rain is going to be great for cleaning up his minions. And we're going to block this for sure. We have no healing in the deck, so avoiding damage is quite important. Obvious place next turn is Petty Officer. Oh, TF's pretty good too. TF starts to put me in a position where I can actually start to tempo and take over the game. It kind of gets matched by... Draven. I can beat Draven. I think TF is just really nice here. TF also does get a bit more value if I wait though. Let's, like, let's say I play Petty Officer now, then I can respond with Make It Rain, which is a bit stronger. Uh, it's weird. We have double TF though. Let's just try this. So obviously it can just be the gold card. It doesn't need to be the red card. Just in case he has some sort of buff that I might be missing, but I don't think Noxus has anything. Stun's fine here. I think either line's okay. I couldn't tell you which one's the most optimal. But 
TF gives me a chance to probably attack this turn with him. He could also be sitting on a... Hesitation to tell. He could be sitting on a, um, knock some further. Dead in their tracks. At that point, he could have had a chance to develop. Yeah, we're just attacking here. Like, what's he want to do? He wants to block this for sure. He doesn't want to block it. Fuck. Does make it rain good enough here? Feels pretty good. Like, it puts him into a spot where he plays Blood Transfusion and then he never finds that value from attacking with it. Okay, let's try it. Petty Officer is pretty flexible too. I can summon a one cost ally if I don't need the kegs. If he drops a Blood Transfusion here, I'll take that. Wait, he hasn't got Draven, sorry. I've been uh, talking about Draven being here, but it's not actually here. You can stop that from attacking, saves me face damage. Less value from Static Shock, but face damage. I like the idea of not taking tanking too unnecessarily. Now it pretty much means I have to block with my Israel, uh, sorry, my TF. I think that's okay. Knocks and Fervor comes down. In the end, I feel like I've won. This pet comes down. I cannot block that. But that's okay. Lux Akali. Good choices. I spammed out a lot of Lux once upon a time in my uh, solo queue games. By the way, did you guys see the Bully Bear rework video? We're in a pretty weird spot here. I feel like I need to start playing... Really aggressive. Petty Officer, Chump Wump, these kind of... Uh, if I play a Petty Officer, it allows me... 4 mana spare. I guess I'm playing Chump Wump. It's a bigger minion, which means that he wants to block it more. Let's make a, deal. a bit unfortunate seeing that. I wonder if I ever make it rain here in hopes that maybe it hits X amount of cards. That seems like a really bad play. Where's that Ezreal sitting at? 3 out of 8. It can't be correct. It really can't be correct. So then, is this trade even correct? Gotta trust your instincts. This trade doesn't feel correct. This one feels okay. He could be sitting on a blood transfusion, so no. I guess we have to just pass for this turn. This is logically the bait, the... If they don't break, they'll burn. Okay. I can negate some damage by playing Make It Rain. Is that worth it? Whew. This could hit multiple different directions that feel good to me. Take the chance. I don't want to take two damage unnecessarily. But in saying that, can I be doing better plays with Petty Officer next turn? Very strange. Nah, fuck it. I don't want to take damage. Did we hit it? I think we fucking hit it. No, we didn't hit it. No refund. Feels bad. I took a chance. Lady Luck is smiling. Yo, make it rain. Nova. Redeeming some hydrations. One, two, three. Am I supposed to swing here? Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you had your fun. Hurry. 
We're swinging with both now. I think because we used... Holy shit. Okay. Wait, one, two, three. I think I took like three sips there, if I'm being honest. Let me take a couple more for you. I was gonna say bye. Of course you're open attacking. The open attack there is kind of weird, isn't it? Pity officer. I wonder if I'm going for Keg or one cost allies. Probably one cost allies. You'll fight or you'll swim. Kill him next turn. Unless he's sitting on a mystic shot. Actually, it's not lethal mystic shot. That's fine. He hasn't got lethal in hand. But oh boy, do I need to find lethal in my own hand. I can't beat him on the open attack. <sighs> okay. Keg becomes more relevant now. Mm. I think I have enough damage on board. I need to look for like burst spells, stoke damage. You have lethal? No. I have lethal on board. I'm just worried that he's gonna have uh, something in hand. That kind of like. <sighs> okay. So he's probably, chances are, double mystic shot, get excited. I can beat Decimate if he has that in hand. I mean, it's open attack, but I just don't beat get excited. Or double mystic shot. Unfortunate. Maybe unlucky. I think that turn that we played to make it rain could have made some of a difference. Yeah, we actually would have been alive. We would have been alive if we hit that. So that's really unlucky. Really unlucky. So I was trying to outplay the, uh, I forgot what the name of the card is, by hitting the canister that he was trying to target to deal two damage. I forget the name of it. The Demologist. Tough luck? Yeah, tough luck. Every point of damage mattered there. That's why I took a bit of a risky play. Which could have paid off for sure. Uh, Mystic Shot finds some sort of value. Barely. I need to find the kegs. I think the kegs are going to help me a lot. I've just got to dodge the one drop. Because we don't really have a way of dealing with the one drops if they come down. Outside of Thermic Beam. Which only deals with Fleetwood Tracker. So if I can dodge that, I'll be okay. Okay, this feels okay now. Tough luck. It is what it is. I'm a man of chance. So it's three mana, he's gonna play like something silly. It found you. Keg. It's gotta be the keg. It's gotta be the petty officer. You'll fight or you'll swim. So time for violence. Hmm. I could have summoned a one cost ally there. Okay, I can't beat Make It Rain. It is what it is. Tim's G. Yeah, yeah, bro. Thanks for sending the love. Shit, no Make It Rain. No Make It Rain in hand. That's such an obvious Make It Rain. Let's keep track of that. So he's sitting on one, two, three, four, five, six cards. And no Make It Rain. Wait. No, this is... This is this looks like a scout deck, except where's Quinn? 
So I guess I kind of assumed that he was running Make It Rain, but clearly not. What provides more value here? Chump Womp is a bigger unit that can deal more damage to the face. Twist of Fate is pretty much just going to be played for the blue card, where it could be played for the yellow card later. Chump Womp it is. How'd you stream go last night, Tims? You went on for you went on for a fair bit of time. I mean, what are we playing around? Playing around repost if we don't attack? Playing into repost, sorry. Do I want him to be reposting? I guess so. It's a pretty low value repost. What is he playing? Has anyone has anyone seen this deck before? We're talking we're talking misfortune Garen with cards like uh, to, uh salvage. Pretty interesting. I mean, okay. No? Hey, there, man. Because I don't know the deck, I'm wondering uh, what kind of value I can find from the mushroom clouds if I start using them earlier. If he's running card draw. And if he tosses the. What the hell do I deal with that? Can stun it. I think it is one from the decks from the creator twenty. Okay, be right back. No worries. Is there any cards I should be expecting to play around? Should probably go look this up. I can almost kill the, uh, red card. Actually, red card works pretty well here. Fuck, Twisted Fate is so, uh, flexible. I wasn't even considering the red card. It stops him from swinging with Garen. That's really important. So, he's just gonna choose to pass. I will do the same. Kegs. Probably just drawing cards is slightly better. He's probably not running Make It Rain. This turn might look obvious to some players, but for me right now, there's so many different lines. And which of these turns is most optimal is the most the biggest question. So he's probably playing some sort of mid-range minions. So... Realistically, my main goal should be trying to clear Garen. I think to do that, Petty Officer comes down. And we probably go for the keg. And then we'll just see how he responds here. I wouldn't be surprised to see him not play anything. At that point, I swing with everything. Except for Twisted Fate. Bannerman comes down. We stand strong. He's sitting on three mana. He could be running barriers in his deck. So if he blocks with Garen into this, Mystic Shot can get him. And then if he plays barrier, I can get him with the Make It Rain. But then the Mystic Shot will not kill him. I just gotta kinda hope he hasn't got a barrier in hand. I think that's my best play. In a sense, he may not even want to block here, but that's kind of risky against an Ezreal deck. Even if Ezreal's, Ezreal's not lev uh, leveled, pardon me, it seems risky. Hesitation to tell. He's considering, he's like, he's figuring out what happens here if he blocks the 3-1. He's giving me a fair bit of information right now. That he may have barrier in hand. Strike. So then this becomes pretty obvious. I just Mystic Shot the uh, Bannerman. I 
was considering it earlier. If he had to just put up the Bannerman for the block and not blocked with the Garen, I would have at that point just saved the Mushroom Cloud guy. Sorry, what's his name? Chump Womp. Holding on to three spell mana might be relevant. Playing Ezreal could just be relevant too. Hmm, maybe not. If he grants the Garen invulnerability, what am I supposed to do? That could be what he's up to here. He could be running some invulnerable stuff. I'm just going to use the make a rain to clear the ranger so he doesn't get the scout value. I don't know, I don't know if I want to block with any of my units. I suspect that he may be running the invulnerable card. So I'm going to have to try and work out how to play around that by leveling up. Leveling up Ezreal fast is probably going to be the way we do it. So we need to start targeting him. Fucking whack how the connection was overseas, but today games were good. I'll be on tonight for more streams. Sounds good, man. We want kegs. Wait, I uh, pressed the wrong button. That's actually a pretty insane find. I value that maybe a little bit more than the kick. He's playing really passive here. Could be sitting on a fucking judgment. That Thermomic Beam is actually going to play around judgment a lot. And so much mana he floats. So if he wants to play Judgment, he needs 8 mana, so if he just has a, simp a simple Simpleton Barrier card, that will get the job done here. So if I like, say for example, am playing around Judgment because he's sitting on double Garen, would I be best just to play Salvage than Thermo Beam? Or would I consider something like Parley? I think salvage comes first. Just to grant my thermo beam a little bit more value. Gotta trust your instincts. I don't know why I'm so scared about judgment, but we're so close to like leveling up Ezreal with tons of uh, resources. So I'm actually gonna go for a low key, pretty unvaluable thermo beam where it probably gets dealt with by barrier. But if I had used all my mana to play thermo beam, expecting him to have a barrier card, then that would have felt really bad. At least I've gotten some value from drawing cards, which helps him win the game faster. And now he's thinking, fuck, I was going to play Judgment to try and outplay this guy. But he still can. He just needs a barrier card. If he plays Repost, then it's easy. Easy clap. What the fuck did I just watch? That just went through. Am I tripping balls? I'm, I just don't know the deck. That's the problem. Rally. I'm just swinging with everything. A waste of my time. He has to block the petty officer. Okay, you're dead that way. Single combat is a card. Oh, you realize? Okay, so for a moment he chose to block TF. Maybe because he had this single combat, but however, he did not play like he had it. This um, <laughs> random one cost card becoming kind of relevant right about now. If I had one more mana, this parlay would actually win the game. Behold, crown god strength. 
So I'm pretty sure we're just blocking, mainly because I don't know what he's playing. And I'm kind of scared. Oh, but the parlay though, the parlay. Oh, he's choosing not to swing with this one. Okay then. Logically, in case of fearsome, I think I actually block with TF. Is that ever correct? I'm thinking way too far ahead. So the chance that we level up into the red card, we'll just block with this one. I'm not scared about fearsome. I probably should be, but I'm not. Because he has to play the card, which gives me a chance to play parlay. We have many different outs here. I mean, pretty sure we win. Garen. Your sister were more like you. She will find her way. So let's say I play parlay. See if it works. Like how much is he value not losing the game? He has to play riposte. And then I do I attempt to play another parlay? Probably. He needs barrier. He needs to give this a buff. <laughs> Boy! Strong deck. Outplayed. Outplayed, dude.